Hello and welcome to video 6 of the Connecting Rod Assembly Series presented by ESA Core and brought to you by MSE Software. In this video I will be showing you how to check element quality and to edit the mesh if there are any failed elements. So first we're going to come up here to the uh, viewport display controls and turn on the element quality checker and as we can see I have seven failed elements here now to fix this I can go manually I can f go to the FEM edit tools uh, go to element split and I can either split these elements by selecting it and then drawing a line from one node to another to split the elements and as you can see, that's fixing them quite well. And we'll do the same to this one over here. And we also have a node move option, which means that I can grab any one of these nodes and get up-to-date feedback as to how it will affect the rest of the mesh. Now, as you can see, by moving it to this general guideline center point that it uh, made for me, it'll make it it'll improve it to be a bad element from invalid and if I move it a little more down one of the guides it'll say that alright the elements good to go now but as you can see as I move it it shows how the elements around it will be affected which is really really handy to know instead of just moving blindly and hoping for the best so I'm gonna go ahead and move that there so it's good now this apex also comes with an automatic uh, uh, auto enhance feature which basically does what I just did and it's located in the element quality checker in the bottom left corner right here and if we go ahead and hit auto enhance you can see that it automatically corrects my invalid elements and sometimes it doesn't uh, fix them all the first go around and that's quite alright sometimes you just need to hit auto enhance again give it another shot as you can see the bad element went down let's give it another try and there you go now we are at 100 percent good elements so now we should be able to run an analysis on this and have no issues whatsoever and that concludes this video